an exciting sporting event is in your near future. How about the TOC TV show? It is freezing again. Uh, I thought it was cold yesterday. It's colder today. Uh, but we're gonna warm things up with some strikes on the lanes. Uh, today is, I feel like it's one of the first uh, shows that I've ever bowled where I really have nothing to lose. I'm really going out there uh, with everything to gain. Everyone that I am bowling uh, has a position to lose, but after I made the cut to the TV show and then I ran that little ladder last night, I'm now onto the final five of a tournament that traditionally I wouldn't be still in. And so the way that I'm looking at this is, well, you're supposed to have finished sixth, one spot outside of a regular TV show and here you are now getting to bowl for the title. Uh, it will not be easy. Today will be a very tricky day. Uh, the lanes will play differently. Obviously my competitors are different and I'm bowling on the fresh. I'm the first game out today where on last night's show I was uh, essentially the second seed. So I had a few games to wait so that's going to change my strategy a fair bit, but the good news is, I think I have a strategy, and I just, I just have to hope that I execute it, because if I do, we could run this ladder. We could win major number 15. But before any of that, I gotta get a coffee. Uh, I just got a plain bagel. I'm, I'm not actually overly that hungry. I'm never hungry, like super hungry, before a show. I'm always uh, like a little peckish, but I never feel like I've got to have something heavy or a lot. It's usually just a coffee and something very light. Plain bagel. Sometimes a banana bread. Sometimes a little bit of cereal, but I don't think Starbucks has cereal. So remember how I said the other day that when you're in this locker room, sometimes you get to bump into some Hall of Famers, some living legends, Randy Peterson, uh, Hall of Famer. What year did you get inducted into the Hall of Fame? Uh, 2011. 2000, fantastic speech. It was a fantastic speech. You remember? I remember. Okay. Favorite uh, TOC moment uh, of yours? Oh, man, of me personally. You personally. Do you have a moment that you're like, oh, if I look back on that moment fondly and not the five pin you missed on TV? Did miss five pin on TV. <laughs> we won't talk about that one. Yeah. We are not talking about that one. Yeah, I went to throw it straight, hung up on my thumb and I missed it left. Um, I made uh, probably four or five TSC shows, never won. Uh, got close. Uh, bowled Norm Duke at Mohegan Sun. I needed all three in the 10th to tie and I doubled and left a blower seven to lose by one. Um, left a solid eight against Healy, that kind of cost me that match. Um, so yeah, I, I, have no fun, I have no fond memories <laughs> I'm of sorry, TFC. I'm sorry I haven't asked the question. Which one? For the Chunkies. No. <laughs> no, but I'm gonna- yeah, I'm Bring them back to the tour finals for me. <laughs> I might, I might uh, surprise them with you. I might send them over. I leave that seven pin, uh, which now gives you an opportunity to double to beat me. One, after you saw the result in the 10th, the first shot in the 10th, what went through your mind at that point? Breaks are even. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, and then, I, oh, go yeah, ahead. I was going to say, so you, you're like, all right, we're square. I had the 7-10, and now I get the break, so we're even. 
Did you actually move on the approach? Did you do anything different or did you just make a, a better shot? I just missed left. I didn't move though. No, I didn't move because the first shot was just terrible. Right. It's also why I didn't take a re-rack uh, because throughout the week, I was bowling really fast in between shots. I would never, you know, as soon as I walked off the approach, I'd grab my ball and get ready to go again. So it didn't give me time to think about anything. And normally I always take a re-rack in that situation, but I was like, no, just go make a better shot than the last one. So you just, you missed down lane just a little left? I mean, I watched the shot. It was like one and a half down lane. I got around it a little bit. And then since I had seven shots of urethane, probably right rat 10. <laughs> you did it to yourself. It all comes full circle, baby. Mate, <laughs> hey, great week. Good luck, brother. Right, man, love you. And uh, like and subscribe. Safe. Yes, like and subscribe. Alright, so we are moments away from going out to the championship pair. I'm the number five seed today. Uh, we're going to start with more than likely a little urethane, but we, we may change that on the fly depending on how the, the lanes are breaking down. I have Jason Sterner in my first match. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling relaxed, I'm excited to be here. It is absolutely packed here, uh, which is the vibe that they're giving off is pretty cool. Now it's time to do what I do best and shine. Let's go. Thank you. 
go. 58, day one, number one, the last day. I can't believe it. I can't. I don't have words. Uh, that was a really, really, really good show. Made all my spares, made some clutch shots when I needed to, made some good ball choices, had some great help with the tool reps. This is what it's all about. Hi, <laughs> is everyone still? But we still sleeping? Okay. Oh my God. That's all right. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bella. I feel yeah, on top of the world. On top of the world. <laughs> you won the thing from there. Crazy. They writing you off so quick. I was like, you have no idea. I love you, man. Oh, I love you too. Way to go, way to go. I'm so proud. So proud. Hi, how are you? <laughs> uh, sorry you're not here. He bowls in college. Yeah, I'm sorry you're not here. Maybe next time you can come and watch. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, cheers, time. mate. Alrighty, so we are done. We get to leave Akron. Get to leave with my fourth of these, my fifteenth major. This was a this was a roller coaster ride that was one of the funnest, most frustrating, incredible tournaments of my career. I will never, ever forget that no matter what position I am in, this tournament taught me you can come back from anywhere. 58th after the, the first squad, all the way through to number one. Thanks for watching along. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. The next piece of content that we're going to be doing on the PBA Tour is the USBC Masters, which isn't too far away. So hopefully... I get to do this again at the end of that video. But till then, be good, uh, practice hard, peace from Akron.